G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today, once again, I've got the LYZRC L900 that I reviewed last summer in front of me here on the bench. Today I'm going to try a FPV flight with it. The reason for that is I actually saw a video uh, last night uh, on YouTube from someone that uh, claimed that their LYZRC L900 actually travelled a distance of 1800 meters actually well, I think it was a little bit more than that what they showed but I'm a little bit skeptical uh, whether the transmitter here it's got an LCD screen whether there's a distance in the corner there whether this is actually accurate okay so just to um, see for myself we know that the Wi-Fi connectivity of this drone is rather poor, especially uh, with the new RX drone app, apparently, from what I've been getting comments in my uh, previous videos. My last video, I was actually trying to bind the uh, app with the Wi-Fi module of my one, but this one only could accept the HFUN and HFUN Pro apps, as you would have seen in my previous video not that long ago. So... Yeah, after seeing this video of the 1800 meters distance, unfortunately that video was rather poor quality. Um, maybe some of you guys that own this uh, drone have searched it and you've actually come across the video. Yeah, the, the camera quality is really poor. He was trying to, the guy that was flying this drone was trying to actually focus in, I guess, uh, in on the control LCD screen. And half, most of the time it was blurred out and... Um, a couple of times I actually saw the telemetry um, come going backwards, like when he hit around 300 odd meters, it was coming backwards. But for some reason, the counter on this ended up getting up to 1800 meters. So anyway, uh, we know the Wi-Fi is not gonna get that far. There's no no way it's gonna get that far uh, via the app. So um, I've actually put a all-in-one camera on it. Okay guys, and I've got a little battery on here. So I'm hoping that uh, we'll get some decent range where I can see where we're going, okay? And um, I'm gonna use the uh, Esheen uh, FPV watch here, guys, okay? Which is gonna fit perfectly in this uh, phone holder, just like so, okay? So that'll be my uh, FPV screen, okay? So only a couple of minutes ago, guys, I just finished doing an antenna mod on this. As you can see here, I've got the antenna poking through. It was very simple to do, guys. Um, I'll actually throw up some photos as I'm talking here. Uh, all you have to do really is just take these four screws out, okay? One, two, three, four. And then um, there are three uh, wiring looms. You have to unplug them first, okay? And then you can actually take the two halves of the controller apart. Now, um, you'll be able to see horizontally here uh, in the photos that the uh, that's where the antenna sat, okay? So I've just basically unclipped it from the little clip that it was in and um, melted a hole just for the antenna to poke through there, guys, okay? With my soldering iron, okay? So it's nice and solid there. And hopefully we get some decent range or extended range by... Uh, actually having the antenna exposed okay now i did notice the battery in this uh transmitter uh, i believe it's a 300 or 350 milliamp hour it does have a white uh i think it's a jst 2.0 plug there uh, i'm probably wrong saying that but anyway it's got a very common 1s lipo plug that is uh, very common with a, a classic quadcopter the sema x5c so if you know what i mean by that um, it, it actually uses one cell lipos with those types of uh, batteries. So yeah, as you can see from the picture that I've got on the screen now, uh, you could easily upgrade this from a, uh, I think it's got a 300 milliamp hour battery, which you can see in the photo. You can upgrade it to a, like a 650 that I've shown here rather easily to get extended uh, battery life out of your transmitter here. So um, I did leave the, um, when putting this back together, I did leave the, fake antennas out there's no point in having them guys those antennas are fake they're just bits of plastic as you can see the antenna was uh, horizontal uh, in the transmitter here so um yeah guys i'm going to uh we're going to take it for a flight now uh, i've got the batteries charged up and uh get some fpv footage to see where i'm actually going 
Hopefully I get some good distance with this, but uh, yeah, like I said, I'm a bit skeptical about the 1800 uh, meters, but uh, we'll soon see. I uh, just want to test it out for myself after watching that video. So let's head over to the field and uh, test this out. G'day guys, well I've got the L900 here, I'm out at the coast. It is a little bit windy today, but uh, it's been raining on and off, so this is the only window of opportunity that I've got today. Uh, so apologies for any wind noise. I did actually bring this out the other day with the FPV camera, uh, but I had nothing but 5.8 gigahertz uh, FPV issues with it, and it actually made this drone act a little bit erratically. Uh, so I brought it down, that was about four days ago on Friday, so I decided to put an SQ12 camera on it, and I'm going to record on an SD card instead. Let's take it up for a fly. I've got 15 satellites. Sixteen now. I'm going to send it up and out. Put in rate two. Fly straight out. I put in rate three. We're at 50 meters high. Going straight into a headwind, so it's going to take a while to get out there. And we're at 120 meters already. I'm going to leave it around 52 meters high. It's going to get really windy up there otherwise. 17 satellites now, we're approaching 200 metres. Two hundred and fifty metres. You still see it line of sight. So we've got three bars on the battery. 350 meters. Four hundred and twenty. Still see it line of sight, straight ahead. Five hundred meters. Okay, it's exceeded five hundred now. We've got seventeen satellites. Still see it line of sight. Approaching 600 meters. 587. 650 now. Jumped up. 681. Still see a line of sight in the clouds are there. 749. 840. 871 and it's, now it's at one kilometer it's reading on the telemetry here 960 stopped at 960 958 960 I think it's reached its limit guys 966 18 satellites, 972, 989, 1000. Let's have a look here. Hope you can see this. Eleven twenty-four. My phone just turned off. Now it's saying 300. All right. I'm gonna press GPS return and see what happens. Hopefully it does come back. Was way out there though. See now this telemetry saying it's 50 meters away. Ah, there she is. She's... So the telemetry was working. On the way back, I was actually a bit worried. 
<laughs> so she was coming back rather quickly. There it is there. Now it was way out there. I could see it in those clouds there. And uh, definitely was way out there. The truth to what it was out there, but remains to be determined uh, because I'll work it out on Google Maps. But definitely didn't get 1800. That's for sure. So it does have a fail safe. It does come back on its own. So it was coming back on its own before I actually hit the GPS return button. And whoa, what's going on here? Better bring it down manually myself. Acting a bit erratic. Come on, little fella. So I'll just land it myself. And we'll go pick it up. Make sure, hopefully, that is still recording. Flight. Yeah, it looks like we got the recording, so that's great. All right, guys, well, that was a successful range test. She did go way out there. It was only a speck of, uh, like, a grain of sand. <laughs> and then that disappeared once I took the hat cam off to show you guys the telemetry when I was focusing on the LCD screen here when it was saying 950 to a little over 1,000 metres away. I looked back up and then I couldn't see it, but uh, then it started uh, counting down rather quickly and I guess that's when the transmission cut off and she came back pretty quick because those numbers were coming down pretty fast and uh, it would have got the tailwind on the way back because I'm actually facing a headwind. So on the way there it had the headwind, on the way back it came rather quickly with the tailwind. All right. So there we have it guys, um, I'm going to go home and check the Google Maps, we'll see exactly where the footage from this little camera does show me, and I'll pinpoint it, now I can tell I've got this little gravel track, okay, I usually do my flights about 500 metres that way, or maybe 300 metres that way underneath the tree, I'm further back this time, so I've got this gravel track, okay, that I can determine I'm in, in line with this gravel track from where the car's parked off the road. And then I can determine how far on Google Maps we went out that way, okay guys? So she was way out there where I couldn't see it anymore. So yeah, thanks very much for watching guys. That is the range test of the LYZRC L900. This seems to be a pretty popular drone. A lot of people have watched my previous videos on this one so far, especially the review and the uh, initial range test that I did with the Wi-Fi FPV. I think it got like 500 meters before I brought it back. So if you're new to the channel guys, this is the first time you've tuned in to Perth West Styles RC, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. That way you'll be informed every time I put out a new RC review video or modification video. As always, I'll leave a link in the description. You can go check it out. I got this one from Banggood quite a while ago. It was around last summer, so, uh, yeah, have a look at it if you're interested in this particular drone. So, uh, yeah, also, if you haven't seen any of my other videos on this particular drone, you can check them out. I'll leave them popped up uh, during this video. And also stick around to the very end outro, and I'll put uh, my previous videos on this L900 LYZRC drone at the end of this video.